Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at OSCON, and I'm with Tim Onglad, who is here moderating a NoSQL panel, but is also the creative force behind the NoSQL tapes. What was the inspiration for that project? Um, so basically I wanted to try and go and meet as many people as possible around the theme of NoSQL. Um, mostly, you know, in a selfish reason, I wanted to understand it a lot more. Um, I saw it happening, I saw a bunch of different projects and different visions, and uh, I thought it would be something worth exploring and worth trying to convey to people and share with others. And for people who may not be familiar with it, uh, maybe get, go into a little background about what the NoSQL tapes are. Right, so the NoSQL tapes were kind of a follow-up project to another project I did last year, which was called NoSQL Summer, a reading group around uh, distributed systems. Um, and so there are uh, a series of video interviews with um, um, creators, users, and kind of thought leaders around NoSQL and distributed databases, or the kind of database renaissance uh, we're in the middle of right now. Um, and so you can find them online at NoSQLTapes.com. Uh, they're fairly long interviews, anywhere from 40 minutes to two hours. And um, as of now, there's 20, 21 up there, and uh, I'm going to keep adding more. So this whole NoSQL thing, I mean, we've had relational databases for years and years. Is this a fad? Is this, is this the future? What, what is it? It definitely has elements of a fad, like honestly. Um, it's catching on, and it's driven as much by real like technical insight innovation as it is by hype and fanboys and, and everything like that. So that has to be acknowledged. Um, but I, I do think it's here to stay, um, so it's not that much of a fad in that respect. Um, I think you know the excitement is going to die down. Uh, solutions are going to get better and, and, and more stable. And I think uh, you know probably in five, ten years, it's going to be like a, a, a very viable alternative option, very common to uh, as an alternative to relational systems. In terms of the way people have thought about creating databases in the past, relational databases in particular, um, there's a lot of talk around people thinking that if you're starting a project and you don't know how big a data set you're going to end up with, that you should stick with relational and migrate later. Is that, is that make sense or are there a lot of cases where you should start out in a NoSQL situation no matter what? I would say I would say always go with what you know and what you're comfortable with. And usually, you know, for 99% of people out there, I mean, relational databases. Um, my, you know, my recommendation, my default recommendation, if I don't know anything about your system and you come up to me and you're like, should I use NoSQL, is don't use it unless you really have to and you know you have to. Um, and that's a mix of, of you know, um, some very technical constraints, right? So amount of data you're going to use, type of operations, complexity, um, you know, volume you have to handle in terms of users, um, page views, all that stuff, uh, as well as stuff like your budget and your expertise on your team. Um, I think you know, different databases in the vehicle space are making different trade-offs. Um, and for the most part, uh, including the one um, you know, I, I, I represent at Clonant, uh, we're more of a, like a, 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 a very finely tuned niche product, right? And so you definitely only want to come to us if you know like relational doesn't work for you and, uh, and you know, if we can do something for you. And you are, like you said, at Clonant, and your uh, product is in the, the CouchDB land. What is different about CouchDB than some of the others like Mongo, Cassandra, Hadoop, uh, GQL, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it, it's kind of two step. It's, it's almost um, um, this, so you have this thing where I was referring before as to different kind of trade offs in NoSQL. Um, so one of the big splits is um, you know uh, databases that try to fit like a, a, a large amount of use cases, and that would be mostly CouchDB, MongoDB, and then you have like you know kind of more niche, finely tuned products that would be Cassandra, React, and uh, Big Couch, which is the open source version of CouchDB that Cloudon develops, which is a distributed uh, fault tolerant version of CouchDB. Um, so the advantages uh, and differences kind of like CouchDB has is that um, it's really written to be persistent on writes. It offers like uh, a very easy to use REST interface, uses JSON as a representation for data um, and as an incremental MapReduce system uh, where like your transformation, your indices are stored on disk. And so it's very, very performant on repeated queries. Um, so BigCouch kind of has all of that, uh, plus as I mentioned, uh, uh, distribution, a Dynamo style distribution, um, as well as um, you know other added value features um, at Clonant, such as you know IO queuing priorities, uh, a search full text search system in query language, uh, and um, you know chain map reduce a bunch of other extensions to it. Locker Gnome coverage of OSCON is brought to you by HP.